So, kids, I was not on the show last week, but if you were on last week, I guess it was right on trade deadline day, that Tuesday. So some guys were moved and some others not yet. So now that it's a week past that, and obviously a bunch of guys have uh, have left the clubhouse going to contenders, just kind of what, what's the feel? What was the morale? I think after a while you knew a lot of those guys were going to get moved, but uh, what was the feeling after those guys left? Yeah, well, I mean, it wasn't really anything surprising. We saw most of those trades coming. Um, but, you know, you still kind of have hope that, you know, the team can stick together and all the guys can stay together because pretty much everybody we traded, you know, they were uh, they were great dudes to have in the clubhouse. They were, you know, personally my friends, um, but, you know, good players for us as well. So to see them actually get moved, you know, it was sad, but, um, you know, baseball is a business and, and we everybody understood, you know, why they were getting moved and, and – you know, the reasons behind it. And, you know, I'm cheering for those guys on their other teams. And, um, you know, hopefully we can stay connected in the off season and later in our careers. Yeah, man, we all go through it. Hey, I was going to ask you, do you guys flew out, what, Sunday to Tampa? And then you had a day off Monday? Is that – like, that's not very common. Like, what would you guys do? Yeah, so it, it is not very common. Usually we, we uh, stay in St. Louis and fly out the – um on the actual off day, but it was nice to get down to Tampa a little early. I actually went fishing yesterday. My, my girlfriend, Allie, her brother runs a charter business out of Anna Maria Island Ooh. in Tampa. So we took a, took a boat out, went fishing offshore a little bit, caught some fish, had some fish tacos last night. No. So we had a, uh, we had a fun day. So with the new schedule this year, I mean, I'm imagining that you've probably hit a couple of cities you hadn't before and looked at. What's been some of the spots that you, you know, enjoy when you're getting out on the road? We give Cam trouble all the time because he was traveling up to Winnipeg and oh, Edmonton and places like that. Like, what's like, outside. what's like your Winnipeg and then, like, what's like the places you really like, hey, I like when we take a trip there? We, you know, there's there's a lot of really good cities. Chicago is always always at the top of the list for me. I like New York. There's a lot of things to do, a lot of cool restaurants. You know, but really any any big city we go to, um, there, there's always stuff to do, places to, places to go see, places to eat. So um, there's really not a bad big league city. Well, how about ballparks? Because we were talking oh. about this earlier. And Tampa? Tampa ain't uh, that good. You know. It's like a carnival. Uh, it's all right. <laughs> it's circus. Is tent. there some yeah. places where you're like, oh, man, that clubhouse sucks. I don't want to <laughs> spend any more time in there than I got to. Or you're like, hey, it's all right when we kick back there. Oakland. Yeah, there's definitely some places that have some uh, some dated facilities and, you know, the stadiums aren't quite as good as others. You know, um, you know, Tampa, hopefully, you know, Tampa's, you know, they're playing good baseball. Hopefully the, the fans come and, and pack out the, uh, the Tropicana field and, um, but, you know, at the end of the day, it is so hot down here in Florida. I'm glad oh. we're playing in that dome. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh. So, kids, a couple days ago you catch Zach Thompson, had a really nice outing, eight strikeouts, four innings. And obviously next year there's going to be some uh, rotation spots open, which I'm, I'm thinking the team's going to probably, whether it's trade, free agency, but, but also there could be a guy like Zach Thompson or Dakota Hudson, whoever it is, who can grab a spot like that. What did you see from Zach Thompson – and do you think he could be a, a big league starter potentially next year? Thompson looked really good. And um, I wish his pitch count was a little bit higher so he could keep going in that game because he was absolutely cruising. But um, the main thing with Thompson is um, I think everything's predicated on his fastball command and fastball velo. You know, his velo was up yesterday, or a couple days ago up to 96 um, and when he's throwing hard like that, it just makes it even tougher to to wait back on those breaking balls that he throws. So I thought he had an absolutely outstanding outing. Uh, he looked sharp, was hitting his spots. Do I think he can be a big league starter? Absolutely. I think uh, I think he's got a good opportunity. A lot of guys have a really good opportunity right now through the end of the season to, to, to show what they have and to prove themselves. And, you know, I think the Cardinals are – you know, looking for guys to step up and, and for somebody to kind of 
dominate and take over. So, and talking about guys that are taking opportunities, that's a great point because, I mean, you've got Dakota's going to be pitching on Wednesday. He had a nice out and, um, last time out. And then you've also got Steven Matzis turned around and go, what are you seeing different, you know, from those guys? Obviously, it's been a, you know, a, a road for Dakota over the last couple of years. And, you know, Matz has been back and forth between the rotation and some results. What are you seeing with those guys, whether it's when they're out there on the hill or in between starts and what's going on there? Well, I think the main thing is each guy has a little something different. Uh, like for Dakota Hudson, I think the main thing for him is is really understanding his own stuff, understanding how it plays, how it tunnels in the zone, and just trusting it and knowing that his sinker is going to sink and his slider is going to slide and just going up there and just pretty much overpowering hitters. I think, I think for Steven Matz, I think it was somewhat of a mechanical change. You know, he was able to get his mechanics right and – and uh, his pitches started moving how they were supposed to move. So everybody's got little different tweaks here and there. Um, but, yeah, certainly Dakota Hudson and, and Steven Matz have looked really, really good in their last few outings. So, um, you know, we're excited for those guys, and hopefully they can keep it rolling. And, kids, what's it been like watching uh, Adam Wainwright, obviously legendary pitcher, really struggling this year and was shut down for a little bit before All-Star break, comes back, had a nice outing, but has, has struggled since then. We all know he's going for 200 wins. He, he's trying to fight through it. It's, uh, it's just kind of a tough spot. What are you seeing from him? You know, what's his morale like around the uh, clubhouse? Yeah, he's grinding right now. You know, he's given us everything he has. Um, you know, you've been pitching in this game for 18, 19 seasons. It's, uh, it's grueling on the body. And, and uh, you know, we got full confidence in him that he's going to be, be able to keep battling, keep fighting, and, you know, everybody – you know, everybody really wants him to get two more wins. So um, I think the main thing is the, the offense just needs to relax and just play our game when he pitches and not, you know, not put too much pressure on ourselves to, to score runs early for him. But, you know, we got confidence in Wayno and, um, you know, he's going to be able to get the job done for us. I've been seeing the promos for this Wayno guitar giveaway that's coming up. We know about his musical endeavors. Does anybody else on the team have any secret musical talents, maybe even yourself? I definitely do not have any musical talent, <laughs> and and <laughs> you're a fisherman. It's, it's really bad. Uh, yeah, I'm not a singer. Don't play an instrument. Never was able to play an instrument. Um, I'm sure there's some guys on the team. You know, I think I think Tyler O'Neill can play the piano. I think he's pretty good on the piano. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there, that's what I'd there like. There are some guys. Yeah, yeah. There's some. We probably have enough guys that are you know, good enough in instruments and singing to field a little band. Now that's an image right there. Tyler O'Neill <laughs> piped up at the, uh, oh, piped up dude, at the piano. That's a wheel. <laughs> dude. I remember like a couple of guys, like, you know, you're dressed up, you're going to some of these nice hotels as a team. And some of the guys would go in and just sit on the piano in front of everybody in the lobby and start playing, a, playing the piano. And everybody stops and they look and are like, yeah. Whoa, like that, that's pretty sexy. That wasn't on purpose though. <laughs> that's sexy right there. <laughs> All right, kids, man. Hey, listen, man, we'll be watching. Good luck to you. And, uh, we'll talk next week. All right. Thanks, boys. I'll see y'all. See you, buddy. See ya. Andrew Kisner, live from Tampa. It's pretty cool. You go down to Tampa, had a day off. I'm like, oh, I'm going to go fishing. Go, f- Hell go, yeah. Go create your own dinner. Yes. Isn't that nice, though? <laughs> Feel a fish and eat the fish you actually catch? Yeah. Because every time I see people fishing, they just put the fish back. That's sustainability. Like, you just cut their mouth open and torture them for a little bit. Now they, you, you bring them back, even though they're of size to eat. I don't get it. You think that was a team choice? They looked at the schedule and said, hey, we can leave yeah. on a Sunday. Now, some of the older guys maybe wanted to stay with their families. Yeah, that hey, was a, it's yeah. Tampa. I know. I, I think that's 50 fit. Well, I think the young guys, obviously. But some of the older guys probably, they don't get to see their family much. St. Louis, August heat. Yeah. Trail you know, down. I'd, I'd keep this one as, as opposed to what's going on in Tampa. I'd take this 10 out of 10 times over how just sweltering it has been in but Tampa. But come on. You're on the water in Tampa. Yeah, I know. I was just on the water in Tampa two yeah, weeks ago, and I was dying. Water's different for you. Well, wait a minute I'm now. just saying. Whoa! I, did you I, not see the fight? He, you didn't well, see the boat I'm just fight? Tell, I'm just, he, he's the one that said it. But it, you don't appreciate water. Just yesterday just you said you'd you. be on my side on I the would. Battle of the Bay. <laughs> I would. I would. I'd protect you. You wouldn't because they would, they'd be coming after you. Oh, I know. I'd be beating up the white you'd guys. You'd have to fight everybody. I know. I'd just be fighting everybody. Listen, some of the things that have come out of that are just like I was telling Charlie of all the things we could talk about today. 
on the internet, somebody drew a picture of the fight. It looks like hieroglyphics. Like they're telling the story of how this thing went down. I'm just like, this is incredible. He might get really messed up. Uh, I don't know. We're trying to figure out if, what was it, on Pat McAfee? I think that was fake. I think I'm not that's sure. fake. I mean, the guy looked what like happened? he fought Mike Tyson. It wasn't nothing happening. But the thing about it is, they were making album covers of like people swinging the folding chairs. <laughs> the folding chairs uh, sales went up. I mean, this is this is incredible. I wonder. Yeah, man. Because again, you get knocked out and you roll into that water. Hoo, hoo, hoo. You know what I mean? I don't want to be in water in oh, my gum. Oh man. Here's oh. what's crazy though. There's Crocs in that mug too. If right now. Some documentary filmmaker went and did a one-hour documentary and interviewed all the people in the boat fight. I would 100% Me too. watch it. Oh yep. God, yeah! It might be the best show on Netflix if they could turn that in the next week. If they could interview all the dudes, tell their stories, I would watch that for an hour. <laughs> yes, dead serious. Yeah, but why did yes. you go after that old man? Because they, he told you you couldn't park your boat there. But he wasn't that old. Was he about 40? Nah, he looked like a regular guy. Oh, he did. I thought he looked like an older guy. No, nah, he's a regular guy. Okay. Uh, you think when there's he threw, any chance this fight is a Wikipedia page yet? When he threw Maybe. the hat into space to yeah. let people know it was getting ready to go down. Like yesterday, a <laughs> guy made a video on, on the, the internet. Bat signal? He had the hat on. He threw it up. And then by the time it came down, there was just like 15 brothers that showed up. Like, what we oh, doing? Man. What we got going on? Yeah, I saw one where the hat, <laughs> the hat was essentially the bat signal. Yeah. And once it was up in the air... All the dudes saw it, and they all started running. <laughs> Carlos Danger goes, the best one I heard is Scuba Gooding Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Jermichael Phelps. That's pretty funny. Pretty funny stuff. Hey, you want some poll results? Yeah. Two polls. First one. <laughs> Important Hot Take Central poll. If this was on the ballot, would you vote yes or no for all 500-plus million of the Rams settlement money being used for the Cardinals to sign Shohei Otani to a 10-year contract, 574 votes, 72% say yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, this poll is a little more ripe. Okay. Only put it out there about uh, seven minutes ago. <laughs> Another Hot Take Central intermission poll. We talked about this in the intermission. Who would win in a fight with <laughs> UFC rules? <laughs> Joe Biden or Donald Trump? <laughs> right now, only 44 votes. 73% for Donald Trump. Uh, yeah, I told you. People it, are going to vote for him. It, it looks like the voting polls for Donald Trump in Missouri. <laughs> yeah, good call. It is. Um, that's, that's a good poll right What there. about yesterday's? Where did we get with the one and a half wins? Where'd that land? Oh, that it, was... It, uh, it was a landslide. Huh? Last I saw, it was 70% under one and a half wins. Oh, well, uh, well uh, what's his name? Kiz was really, really confident he's going to get those two hundo. Kiz watched the Kevin Brown tape and realized what he needed to say and what he didn't need to say. <laughs> exactly right, Maddie. <laughs> You're exactly right. Well, he was honest. He said he said that Wayno is grinding and giving everything he has, which he is. I believe that. He didn't lie. Yeah. I know. It just Wayno should probably just be like, I'm I'm done. At this point, just go for it. We need Cam. We have two more months. If we can't talk about Wayno going for two hundred, that's true. We're gonna do a lot no, more segments on Vern Troyer. It, exactly. As, <laughs> far, as, as far as me, as far as us and like entertainment purposes on this here show, but I do think like, yeah, no. some of these young kids are like, uh, okay, can I can I come up and play now, please? I've been grinding down here. Mm -hmm. Wayno's getting lit up like D Padre. Mm. Can I please come up now? No, no, no. Okay, okay, that's fine. That just kind of sucks for them. It does. Uh, let's see here. That that Johnny Menzel doc though, I'm I might watch that bad boy. How much money? How much money would he have got paid out if there was NIL when he was kicking ass and taking names down in Texas? Oh, I think he how got much? it anyway. Yeah, no, I no, say, I how much did he actually get? Yeah, make? but okay, he could have got a ton more. How much more money? How much money would pe people throw on him when he's dominating down there? You know? Millions, right? Yeah, I mean, when you think about guys who were in college, I think we had this conversation before about guys that would have been super marketable in college if NIL Tebow. was above board. Oh, God, who would have been Tebow's big Who would have been sponsor? the biggest in the past 20 years? Uh, every sport? Um, no, no, no. Maybe Tebow. J no, just, just uh, Baker Mayfield would have been. Baker Mayfield would have been up there. Uh, he was pretty popular down that way. Just football. Monte Teo. Um, oh God. for dating sites, man, that guy. Um, <laughs> and everybody's like, I feel so sorry for him. And I'm like, ah, think about the commercials, though. Tebow's, Tebow's a good call. Tebow He'd be a big dog. Manti Teo could have done commercials for dating sites and made a joke of it. Hey, guys, you know, if you can't get a real girlfriend and you have to make up a fake one, mm -mm. try, uh, yeah, try what's, the, what's the site? Uh, uh Christian Mingle. Try Christian Mingle. 
Try Farmers Only. Hey, you want Christian Mingle? What was the first one? <laughs> Match. Match.com. Match. Jameis Winston probably would have got some interesting endorsements down in uh, Florida when, it, when oh, that was going yeah, on. Oh, yeah, dude. Um, hey, Robert Griffin would have done well. Yep. He was turned to Reggie Bush. I mean, Reggie Bush. Reggie got paid. It was just, you yeah. know. La- Matt Leinart and Reggie Bush would probably be my choices because they were in L.A. They were basically the pro team of L.A. at that time, and they hey, were going to get paid that way. When Matt Leiner walked into class down there, like, he was a big dog on campus too, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. I mean, that team yeah, had, he, that he team had a Heisman bunch trophy. of them. Yeah, they Handsome. won them back to back. So, I mean, you had Leiner and you had Bush on that same team. Damn. I mean, they would have gotten Lindale White. Mike Williams, they had some guys on that too. I'm going to watch this Johnny Manziel thing. Rams. I just saw the preview of it. It looks pretty hardcore. Rams tight end, Dominique Bird. Well, you know. Man. <laughs> Monte Teo, though. George Dwayne Palomar Jarrett. Was there before that? Yeah. I just, it's just so bizarre, man. It's so effing bizarre that that happened when you're a stud like that. Now, he was at Notre Dame and it's, you know, slim pickings. You know what I mean? But. Like, it just, it just didn't make any sense. And when I watched that over— Hold on. You don't what? think there was a lot of—you know, he's probably going for Polynesian women in South Bend, Indiana? Yeah. Oh, that's right, because he has to be a, with a Polynesian woman. That's right. Hmm. Anyway, I don't know. And he said that the person that he was talking to had befriended some people that he knew on social media. So he asked his, his buddies, like, hey, do you know this person? They were like, oh, yeah, I, basically saying, like, I know of that person. So like he was like, oh, so this is a real person because my, my friends know. Dude, dude, Wasn't like, it a gay dude oh, with yeah, another girl? Wasn't it a couple people? No, uh, it was one person. He is now you she. Sure? Yeah, he is now she. That's why it's okay. So wait, confusing. you're saying the person that that pulled off the hoax as at the time was a guy. Yeah. Now, so okay, but at the time, now a woman. So at the time, he was a gay guy. Right. Yeah. I thought he recruited a woman to do the voice on the phone. No, no. that was his voice. That was his. Is that 100 percent? Yes. yes. Verified. Yeah. I'm a Notre Dame fan, dude. I followed this through and through yeah, to but, see if there was any possible out that he was innocent. Hey, would you consider a girl <laughs> a girlfriend if you've never met her before? Would you, Cole? No. Not even close. A girlfriend? No. And if she didn't like meet up with you in the first like two weeks, you'd be like, I'm done with this. You would, right? Because I would. Like, what? Where you at? Are you, uh, can I, what, uh, can I see you? Is there an end goal can here? Can I see you? Are you coming around here anytime soon? Are you a real person? Like, yeah. where are you? You All live right. in, you live in no California, and I live in Indiana. How, how's we're, that working? We're boyfriend and girlfriend. Never met you. No. Odd. Mm-hmm. Odd. Jeez, Luis. A lot of NHL weddings going on right now. Man, oh, man. Just clip after clip. Does Brady Kachuk go to every single wedding in existence? Does he? <laughs> He's at does every, he? every wedding. Just as long as Mitch Marner's not dancing at any more Good weddings. Gritty. Yeah. Oh, like, he stole that from the football guys. Create your own NHL dance. You know? What does an Why NHL it? dance look like? Because that came from the NFL. Oh, no, it's going to be two left feet. But still, it's yours. <laughs> he stole that from somebody else. And that was like two years ago. I and mean. That's when, again, the maybe 50 this year old a, women are doing it in the street. That's when you know you don't do it anymore. Maybe maybe this is a case where maybe it's better to borrow something from somebody else. Yeah, but why not be creative and different and goofy instead of like stealing? I don't know, that's petty. It doesn't matter. I got a dance, Maddie. Maybe you can create it and then send it one. back to him. I got one. Okay. I got one. It is. It does seem like <laughs> Brady's at every wedding there is. And there's it's like, a, it's like, a, like Jason Tatum in uh, it, the <clears throat> NBA circles and parties in the offseason. Jason's making You them. go to all of them? He's yeah. making them. Yeah. Maybe it's them Chaminade boys. That's what it is. Is he party? They're, they're making their way around. I mean, He's, it seems like it. I mean, does he? Not in a bad he way. He seems like very straight, like, you know, yeah. like I don't do much. Oh, no. No. I mean, I'm just curious. He's, he's a kid. He's 24. He does. Yeah, it, but you man. know how it is, man. Some kid, look at Cole. Cole doesn't go look for parties and stuff like that. If he's Cole a was kid, Jason Tatum, he'd probably I go like and look that. for a I couple more I respect the hell out of that, by the way. You're going to save a lot of money and a lot of brain cells. Yeah. You will get to your point a lot faster because you don't party, just so you know. You'll get from point A to point B so much faster because of that, just so you know. Alcohol and Ubering. Ubering's the big one. That's the one where I'm oh. like, I don't want to make a habit out of that. Oh, God, it's expensive, man. Like, it, 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 it adds up. If I were in a group and we were all splitting it, then yeah, I do that every weekend. But, I mean, what? The Uber's going to come pick me up by myself. I have to put the, fit the, put no. the entire bill, basically. Yeah. Like, I don't want to make a habit no, out of that. absolutely not. That's going to be like, man... My, my, my friends do that, but my friends back home, they all live in the same apartment complex, so they're all joining together. You're, you're always fresh when you're talking to people. You're not going to ever look sloppy. You're not going to look like a fool. You're not no. going to do anything stupid because of alcohol. That's good, man. 
telling you. You know what I mean? It's like me. I don't want to be anybody else's <sighs> problem. Never done anything stupid like that. Cam, yesterday you told me that <laughs> hockey guys go to the, the lake I'm on. Who are you talking about? What lake is it in? Minnesota? Pfft, tons of guys, I'm sure. Tons of guys. Yeah, microbiologist Jack has a badass place in Minnesota. He keeps sending pictures. My God, does that look beautiful. And it looks like there's no houses on the lake either. It's like you're the only one there. Where the hell is that at? Which ten, one of those 10,000 lakes are you on? Cole, you should start a YouTube shorts channel called Hot Clips Central, where it's just clips and drops from the show. Ooh. The problem with Jay that Mike, what's up? is that the money, Charlie Marlowe, is in long-form videos. Unless you get millions and millions and millions of shorts views. Yeah, well, we got to be a little more funny. Hmm. The entire Montgomery thing could have been avoided had those people simply complied with the guy in charge of the dock. Why didn't they simply comply? Craig, big Craig. It's probably out there. Because they're a bunch of Hoosiers. It's out there sipping that potion. A bunch of Hoosiers. Those (laughs) are straight up Hoosiers. You can't park your boat there. But he then you run t- up you on idiot. the guy. Then you yeah. run up on him and try to fight him, you morons. You're lucky that no one knocked you out and kicked you and, and rolled you over in the water I like think, you deserve. I think we might still be discovering Stupid ass. everything that came out of that. I mean, when, when, when the folding chairs came out, I was like, oh, we're all in on this one. I'm watching. I'm watching, baby. Oh, man. Yeah, dude. Uh, let's see here. Has, Co- has Coke been allowed to ask Kiz any questions since he asked him how it feels to be the third catcher on the team? That was a phenomenal question. Or has Cole been Baltimore'd? No. Did you ask that? You weren't here for that? No, he was. You were here for that. Me and you both, third catcher? No. Me and you both looked at each other like, ooh. I said, Ivan Herrera is coming up, and he's a big-time prospect. How do you feel about your role in the team was essentially my question. I'm kind of paraphrasing myself here. And then uh, Allow myself to introduce myself. My name is Hove. <laughs> that was Austin Powers getting back to Vern Troyer, though. See, we're a different right. generations. Yeah, <laughs> we're different generations. Yep. Although, hey, Hove is our generation, all right? Don't try to steal. Don't I'm steal. sorry. You Don't. have all the little yeah. little yachts. Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll, I'll stick with all my little Little boat fight. Yeah, a little boat fight. My oh, little, little boat fight. Little, 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 oh, mon- little Montgomery. Little Montgomery. Little boat fight might be my. I'm going to start a career yeah. now. Little boat fight. <laughs> Boat fight. Low first form. Doesn't the same prevent trinkets happen with the Super Bowl? There are people in third world countries walking around with Atlanta Super Bowl uh, winner T-shirts. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I see that. I see that all all the time. Shirts that say whatever. You got to make the they, T-shirts. You give them to the, the, the poor folk. Give Rightfully people so. Don't have clothes. Rightfully so.